Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are working on finishing up our mega structure construction here. We're now also making 831 alloys per month. That's getting much closer to our goal of 1000. So that's great. Somebody just built a long range sensor array. Okay, whatever. Do we have any jobs that we need to work on here? That is the question. And the answer is no, we don't. Okay, so that looks good. Let's see. Our mega art installation site is being worked on. Our sentry hub, we can't upgrade at this moment. We're just chilling. And our strategic coordination center, we're 1,700 days away from. So after we finish this interstellar assembly site, the BOS Atlantic no longer needs to exist unless we want to build, like, habitats. And I kind of don't. I don't think that's necessary here. So I think it's fine. First contact event is pending. I still think it's wild that we're getting a first contact event in 2448, but okay. So this is going to finish up in a little while, right? We're at basically 80% here. We're cruising forward as quickly as we can. We've got 180 days on our mega art installation site. So this is all looking good. We finished our science nexus. We finished our mega shipyard and the strategic coordination center will be finished in 1600 days. We're sitting on 13k alloys. We did just dip negative in our volatile moats, and that's a problem. I'm going to buy in 500 to keep us afloat for right now. But we're going to need more volatile moat production. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got this industrial world. Okay. We could put in a chemical plant. That would do. An alien empire wishes. The headmaster to Franz of, Yar of Yellow, the artisan troop. Okay, cool. So we just met the artisan troop. Nothing too major there. This Forge World needs a planetary administration. We'll definitely get that going. This Forge World here needs a job, and it's one of these guys. That's what we're growing. Let's make this be Bizarro Ottoman. How about? Okay, there we go. Fantastic. So we get that switched over. For the moment, in order to give that guy a job, we can just put in a commercial zone. It's not the biggest of deals. I don't like it, but here we are. Checking through here, that's all of the job work that we need. Okay. We should be done with our Mega Art Installation Center in just 40 days. Beautiful. So that finishes shortly. We're going to finish our interstellar assembly site at roughly the same time. Okay, so that finishes now. We can now get rid of the BOS Atlantic. Then the interstellar assembly site could start its upgrade, but we're, I think, more interested in getting the sentry hub upgrading. So this is going to finish in five days. There we go. The nascency of the art installation. Now I'd like to buy in additional alloys. So we'll take that up to 11k, and then we'll wait the couple of months that we need to to get our 15,000. So that'll be fine. We have two upgrades going right now. Scientific we need to get the alloys for a third. Achieved. We're close. Army health finishes up. Looks good. I don't think we need naval cap right now. I don't think we need monthly unity right now. Um, Army damage, I guess. Sure. Minerals from jobs sounds okay, considering our mineral count is a little on the low end at this moment. We're turning minerals into a lot of different things, right? This industrial world needs a job, and it's an Uthabulin job. Fine. I'll put in a city district, but I'm not happy about it. We're still negative on our volatile moats, and that does need to be worked on. This is Forge World here. We can put in a planetary administration. Why are we growing these guys like everywhere? We need to go through and make sure that we're, we're growing workers that can actually work on all of our worlds. So let's see here. We want to not be growing robots. We want to not be growing these guys. If we are, we want to swap them over to Bizarro Ottomans. Anything else doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, these guys are fine. Grocknoplorins are okay. I don't care about that. Yep, that all looks good. We don't want these guys. So we're getting rid of those. Bizarro Ottomans. Let's go. 
What else do we need? Zadrin are okay. I don't mind that. Here, we can get rid of our robot assembly plant and replace that with an alloy foundry. Happy to do so. What else needs work population-wise? Please don't grow these. <laughs> Let's grow Bizarro Ottomans instead. Thank you very much. Grocdeplorans are okay. I don't mind that. Uthabulans. No, thank you. Uh, not Bizarro Ottomans here. We're, we'll grow like these guys. Cool. Grocknoplorans are fine. Please no. <laughs> Why are we growing these? Let's go Bizarro Ottoman. Okay. Salorim are reasonably fine. No Uthabulans. Thank you very much. Uh, we do need this to be like these guys. That'll be okay. Grocknoplorin. Sure. No Uthabulan, please. No Uthabulan. Okay. Almost all the way through our worlds here. Just making sure that we're growing pops that can actually be put to work. <laughs> That's the primary goal here. Okay. Man, we're growing so many of these. Can we not? Thank you. I don't know why the AI is really fixated on growing, growing Uznes and... Uthabulans, but it really is. Like, it really wants to grow these. I don't want them. Sure, maybe they grow a little faster. 3.9 per month versus 3.9 per month. They don't. Let's just not. Cool. I want people that can be put to work. Okay. That looks fine. So there we go. We may have to go through that again because it might recalculate. We'll see. But we do need enough alloys at this point to get our art installation going. So that's one more month tick. We should be ticking forward. I thought that we were. There we go. Cool. I didn't think that we were ticking forward while doing the planets. I didn't want to be ticking forward then because we might get pops that we didn't want. But there we go. We've got all three of these building now. It's going to be a while... Yes, about 700 days before our next mega structure upgrade. So that's some time to bank up alloys. Sounds good to me. And let's go ahead and check through this again. At this point, we are looking for people who are not locked to a particular type. And then we're just going to go for like people with the highest habitability Scientific that we see early on. Achieved. So. Like, people with 100% habitability would be like the Azanti or even Bizarro Ottomans, which is fine. Okay, so here... Yeah, it's on any species. This does reduce our pop growth speed by 10%, but I'm okay with that. I'm completely okay with that at this point. Uh, here we need these guys. Cool. This is locked. This is not. So we want to go for, like, Meta Istrin. Cool. A most irritating envoy, huh? Snuff we out the wall. Okay. We do need a physics research here. Beast. We are going to go for... Energy credits from drops. Excellent. Okay. So, we're looking for, like, 100% habitabilities, ideally. I wish we could sort this by habitability. That would be nice, but alas, we cannot. Okay, so 100% habitability for Bizarro Ottomans looks good. Azanti will go for Bizarro Ottomans. Okay. So we're just going through the ones that are not locked right now and locking them. We don't want to be growing the ones that we don't want, right? <laughs> I'm okay with giving up 10% population growth to lock these in for species that we can actually utilize. So that sounds good. Um, 90%, 100%. Cool. These guys, we're just looking for 100%. Not these. It, definitely not. Bizarro Ottomans? Bizarro Ottomans. Cool. Meta Istrin would be okay. On Atrinar Prime. 
Bizarro Ottoman is fine. We're locked here. Okay, Grokna Florin currently. We'll go to Meta Istrin. Doesn't really matter. But Grokna Florin to Meta Istrin there as well. So Piorun, we definitely want... I saw 100% here. Yeah, looks good. This is not locked, so we want to make this be locked. Saw 100%. Yep, that'll work. Okay, these guys, yeah, that looks fine. This is Forge World here. Looking for those sweet, sweet 100%. Ad Norin. I like it. Okay. We're just about done with this population rejiggering. That's a uh, technical term. So Semlar are going to be replaced by Bernathi. Beautiful. Those are all locked. Bernathi works here as well. Salorum is probably fine-ish, but we'll go for, like, these guys. Fantastic. What else do we have? Well, we've got more of these guys. Sure. We're looking for 100% habitability, ideally, but it looks like that doesn't happen here, so we're going to go for the 90%. On Snarabu, we are locked. We're going to hit a number of these that are locked soon. Rocknaplorin is fine here. Saw 100%? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Locked, locked, Grocknaplorins here. Um, Uvzant would be fine, but Meta Istrin is also okay. Okay, you're Bizarro Ottoman right now. Which seems okay at 90%. Okay, these guys. Yep, absolutely fine. Currently Bizarro Ottoman. That's good. Locked, locked, locked. Locked, 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 and Bizarro Ottoman. So, locked. Okay. There we go. We have all of that population work done. We should no longer be growing these jerks. <laughs> Under any circumstances, that is not good. So, we don't want them. We are going to put in here... It basically needs to be... A city district. I don't like it, but there we go. So that should be nipped in the bud at this point. There should be no more of these growing. Super Uzanachi. Can they actually work at things? They're also servile. We'll just upgrade our commerce Megaplex for now. That should do the job there. Cool. Let's check in on our mega structures here. Our Sentry Hub has 200 days remaining, 1,200 on our art installation, and 800 on our strategic coordination center. Cool. I think at this point, we are reasonably safe to hit our Reinforced Fleet button and spend down our alloys. So we'll go ahead and do that and work on producing a bunch of ships here. That's quite a lot. I like it. So that's well underway. Looking through for additional jobs here, we're not really seeing any. That 10% growth reduction will hurt a little bit. But at this point, I think it's fine. I really, really do. So we're banking additional alloys so that we have enough to get the Sentry Hub upgrading again. And of course, the Interstellar Assembly Site is going to need work. But that's a low priority. We'll go ahead and run the Surveyor. Nine Physics Research. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Let's check in on how we're doing with the Skinnerians. Overwhelming equivalent equivalent, so no change there. The Uvzant, superior equivalent equivalent, looking good. The commonality of Azan's Crucible, overwhelming equivalent equivalent, no change. And the Great Sadrian Mandate, equivalent equivalent equivalent. So they've built more ships. That's fine. Not too concerned about that one. We have also built more ships, so <laughs> our ships will arrive soon. How much do we need again? 43,000 to fully reinforce. Okay. This particular fleet is close. 
we're not quite there yet. And I'm not going to reinforce it at this moment because the century erased by our hello, we just found the enigmatic observers here. They care little for our diplomatic maneuvering. The nun aliens, cool. So that was our sentry spire that found us that. Let's think about buying in 2,500 more alloys soon. Yeah, I do think that would be a decent call. I want to get the sentry array upgrading quickly. So we clearly spent a little too much on our alloys. It's okay, not a big deal. Okay, 7k right now. We're lacking about 3,000 here. Should be about two month ticks, realistically. Based on the price the price dropping, right? I think it should be around there. Yeah, ish. Around there, ish. Not quite going to be enough here, but it, it'll drop. We'll let that price drop. And there we go. Cool. We'll buy in the 2500 and that will immediately get this sentry upgrade going. So that's 900 days out. 900 days also on our art installation. Complete. And 500 on our strategic coordination center, which that will be finishing. Which means that our next target is 10,000 alloys for our interstellar assembly. Okay, we should be able to make that pretty easily, I think. We're still negative on our volatile moats, and I would like to address that. Let's see, this forge world requires a job that is a Visari job. Okay, we'll go ahead and put in that industrial district. What else do we need? Looks like nothing. So that's going to get us Scientific a little bit more on our achieved. alloys. Always good. But that is not going to fix our volatile moat problem. We'll have to keep that volatile moat problem in mind. For the time being, I think that we go for army health here. Should be okay. We can also sell off some food. We're going to be hitting our food cap eventually. I'm just going to sell off 10,000 here. No more. How much would it cost to reinforce this fleet? Okay, 47, 4,700. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, minerals from jobs finishes. That's good. Let's go for additional armor compression. Cool. So armor hit points coming up there. That'll be fine. Uh, we're lacking leaders in some of these, in, in both of these maxed out fleets. We should definitely recruit leaders here. So there's this lady. We can recruit... Um, engineer isn't awful. It's not great, but it's not awful either. And then the sixth fleet, of course, doesn't have a leader right now. We will need one. All of these are the exact same. And the fourth fleet already has one. So 170k is our current fleet strength. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. We've got 200 days remaining on our strategic coordination center. And then 600 for both of these. So we really do need to bank our alloys. I would love to get our fleets built. But we really do need to bank our alloys for this. So I guess that's reasonably fine. reasonably fine indeed. Not super happy with it, but it'll do. And there's no jobs to be worked on, which is very sad as well. Of course, we are expecting that 10% drop in our population population growth, right? And that will hurt. But we do need to deal with these volatile modes. So we'll see what we can do about that. Maybe we get a surveyor proc for it. That would be amazing, but I doubt it. We're just waiting for a job to open up in a location where we can actually make volatile modes. We'll see if that happens. 90 days now until our strategic coordination center is done. And of course that means Scientific that we're going to need to upgrade our interstellar achieved. assembly once that is complete. Energy credits from jobs plus 5%, sure. 
from here, let's just continue working on shield hit points. Excellent. So our techs are cruising right along. We're remaining equivalent with everyone else. That's fantastic. I want to check in on, like, these guys. The Fallen Empire here. So their tech is still considered overwhelming to us, even though their fleet power is equivalent. Fascinating. Yeah, still overwhelming. That's very interesting. Okay, the Strategic Coordination Center is now operational. That's beautiful. So we're going to immediately upgrade our Interstellar Assembly site. Now, both of these are going to be done in about 400 days. We're going to need, like, at least bare minimum 20,000 alloys by then. That's going to be a lot of alloys. This generator world requires housing and a job. I really want to put in a chemical plant here and then an industrial district to fix the housing. For now, that'll do. This is set up as a forge world. We can also put in a chemical plant here. Can we put in... Yes, we actually can put in a Ministry of Production here. I like it. Uh, the curators, I just hit escape through. We need to go talk to the curators. Hello, curators. We want to renew our, our research service. There we go. Fantastic. So that's now done. Checking in through here, our jobs appear okay beyond that. Cool. Okay, we're almost done building our mega structures. I can't believe the AI has left us alone for this long, to be honest. I don't know what they're doing. They really, really should be getting more aggressive on us. Because we're going to start pulling ahead of them soon. Very soon. And then there's just not much that they're going to be able to do. We've just been able to play this patiently, which is excellent. I love playing this style. Just be patient, scale up, and then eventually we hit them hard. That's the idea. Our volatile moats should go positive here soon. Our alloys are continuing to improve. We're almost up to 900 per month. We have encountered some manner of space-born beast. Cool. We can assign an envoy over here. I thought we already had, but apparently not. A stray communique, huh? Fire this incompetent at once. There we go. And what do we got going on here? 200 days? 200 days. Noted. So that's looking good. Checking in for additional job requirements here. There are none. And we're now at minus zero volatile moats. That should change even more once we finish up. Well, there's this Ministry of Production here. We have a chemist job open. So once that job fills, then we should be fine. We're still technically negative in our volatile moats, but it's less than one per month. I'm not concerned about that. It'll be okay. Beautiful. 100 days on this completion. Now, we only have eight, or rather 14,490 alloys in the bank. We're hoping this is on the lower end, closer to 20k alloys required, rather than 30k. We'll see what the requirement actually is. It'll be 20 to 30k once both of these finish. I'm talking for upgrading both of them. So we've got about two more month ticks until this one finishes, and three month ticks until this one finishes. It's going to be tight. We may have to buy in a few alloys or just not construct for a little bit. We'll see. 20 days on our Sentry Spire. 15. 10. Five more days. And there we, we go. encountered some manner of space-born beast. Cool. So we're discovering these, of course, because of our... Because of our Sentry Array. Cool. So that's upgrading. This is 20 days away. So we're definitely going to be a little bit short on our alloys. It's a 15,000. 
Oof. Okay. So our art installation has reached maturity at this point. That looks good, but we do need to get it upgrading. An deplorable. alien empire wishes to communicate. Ha. Absolutely deplorable. Okay. Whatever. They're, they're pirates. That's fine. So we need 15,000 alloys. This should be the final upgrade for the mega art installation. Is this the final upgrade for the Sentry Array? I think it might be. But man, 5,000 more alloys. That's a lot of alloys. No doubt about that. We're probably not going to need to buy any. It is about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I think we're going to get our mega structures basically complete. And then we're going to work on getting our fleets up to scratch. And we're going to attack the Dasanu Consonants at a time in the near future, assuming, assuming that the Endgame Crisis doesn't start before then. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazarol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, Spartan News, Nix Marty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisol, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.